And we begin tonight with what is now shaping up to be a cascade of poor decisions that led up to the mass shooting at a Texas elementary school. The director of the Texas Department of Public Safety says police made the wrong decision to wait 40 minutes to breach the classroom where the suspect had barricaded himself. Police say the suspect entered through a door that had been propped open by a teacher. Investigators also say the school resource officer was not on campus when the shooting started. Teachers also feeling that grief sparking conversations about their roles in the classroom. Let me say teachers are being asked to do more than actually what they signed up for. Jessica Rank joining us in the studio with more on this. Jessica spoke to some former teachers here in Arkansas. Interesting to hear what they had to say. Yeah, Bob and Laura, well, I spoke to three different teachers who all echoed those same concerns. I asked them how they felt about the shooting in Texas, what thoughts run through teachers' mind during a school day, and how it's changed over the years. Here's what they had to say. We never thought about anyone busting in the school with a gun or if the fire alarm went off. You weren't worried. Lesson plans and a classroom ready to learn. Miss Abrizendine says teaching in the 90s was black and white. Now every time there's an alarm, it's this could be serious and it's uh, surreal. Tuesday, two teachers in Uvalde, Texas, were put in a situation that so many others say they feared for years. I didn't want to be a human shield. Three former educators in Arkansas, each of them sharing concerns about the role teachers now play. Will I respond the right way? Will I know what to do? Will I do the right thing? What if something happens when my kid does go down the hallway to the restroom or to go to the office or to do something else that was asked of them? If I have a classroom of 25, who am I going to shield when the doors busted open? Brizendine left her job as a substitute teacher after 19 years in 2018, just months after the shooting in Parkland, Florida. So I decided that's it. I'm, I'm out. Toward the end of her career, she says the possibility of an active shooter was always top of mind. Every day, every classroom, every school. She says it's the same for most teachers who, in addition to teaching, now have other responsibilities. I'm not trained to be a police officer. Uh, that was never my goal in life. Brizendine says things need to change so teachers can go back to what they're trained to do. I love children and educate them. That's my role, and that should be my only role. Now the former teachers I spoke to say they want to see more security at schools and possibly more security officers to protect in an active shooter situation. They say things need to change before more quit out of fear. Reporting in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.